Awesome sauce. Scene one, Apple, take one. What's up everybody, how's it going out there? In this video we are going to be making my version of Kung Pao Chicken, which is Kung Fu Pao Chicken, because I think it's uh, a lot better than regular Kung Pao Chicken. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just prepping all of the stuff because when, anytime that you're cooking, especially like in a wok or you're doing Chinese food, um, a lot of times you need to have the stuff already prepped, the cooking is in fast succession, and uh, yeah, you just want to have everything ready to roll, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So the onion I had cut into uh, basically eighths, right? And the reason why I do that is because I'm thinking ahead of time as far as if you're going to be eating this with chopsticks, you don't want this to be finely diced because you won't be able to pick anything up, right? So you end up uh, cutting them in pieces like this, and that way after they're cooked you'll be able to pick it up with chopsticks. Over here I'm using chicken thigh. Rarely do I use chicken thigh, but in this case I'm using chicken thigh because it's got a lot richer of a flavor compared to chicken breast and it also has more fat than chicken breast. So we're making Kung Pao chicken, right? So we really want that chicken to come out, that flavor to come out, and that's why I want to use thigh. It's also a little bit cheaper, um, and not that that really matters, but if you're trying to feed a large group of people, um, you might want to go with things like the thigh instead of breast. I've got some bell peppers already. Um, now these were frozen, and they had already been sliced. And another thing that I want to add to this is going to be green onion, okay? And so what we'll do is we'll cut the roots off here. And uh, we can go ahead and cut these at an angle. You can cut them any way that you want, but I think for the amount of chicken that I'm cooking, that's enough. And I'm also going to end up putting in a little bit of ginger in this. And this is something that you would want to uh, finely dice. And we're also going to end up needing some type of hot chili pepper. And so what I'm going to be using is red chili pepper. Now you can get Japanese chilies or whatever you really like to uh, use. You can get Thai chilies. This is what was around and this is what I'm going to use. These are dried. And we're going to break these open or we can cut them up too. But we're going to throw this in the oil before we start cooking anything. And this is going to end up giving the heat. What we're going to do is we're going to throw out a bowl this size and the only reason I bowl that size is because I got a considerable amount of chicken here. I'm going to be putting a little bit of kosher salt inside here. That's enough. We need to put some soy sauce inside here. And I think that's enough. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper inside here. It's probably enough. I'm going to throw our ginger inside here. And if you want to throw a little bit of the onion in here, you can do that too. This is a little bit of a Korean oyster sauce for the amount of chicken that I have right here. That's probably good. So I'm going to put a little bit of sugar inside here. That much chicken is probably good. Let's put a little bit of vinegar inside this. This is rice wine vinegar. Give it a little bit of acidity. You can use a Chinese cooking wine or in this case I'm going to use a little bit of sherry about a tablespoon. I'm gonna hit a I'm gonna hit this a couple few times with some granulated onion. And hit this with a little bit granulated garlic. This is a little bit of red uh, Korean uh, hot pepper. It's, it's similar to cayenne. Alright so now that that's done we're gonna end up throwing our chicken in here. Okay with the chicken inside there we need to go ahead and add a starch. You can use cornstarch I'm going to be using potato starch, okay? And what we want to do is we want to put, oh, maybe a tablespoon or so. And then we want this to be all the way around. Now, if you want to, you can add egg white to this, but it's not really necessary. So now all we do is we just cover this with saran wrap and let it marinate anywhere from 15 minutes to a couple hours, whatever. The longer you let it set, the more it's going to absorb a lot of that stuff and then um, we'll be pretty much ready to start uh, cooking our Kung Pao chicken. Okay, so what we got going on right here is a little bit of oil and some chicken fat. Um, 
and that's kind of like what we're seeing here. I'm going to add some grape seed oil because it has a higher uh, smoking point than things like olive oil. You can use peanut oil, and I'm going to be turning the heat up because I want this thing really, really hot. And we got to be careful when doing this because if we overcrowd the wok, we're going to end up having um, a really watery mess. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our chicken. We're going to place it inside here. We might have to do this in batches, depending. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't cook the chicken first, but this was inside the refrigerator and it was really cold. So I wanted to at least cook this about 75-80%, take it out, and then start uh, the um, Kung Pao chicken like ordinarily would. Now, if yours was sitting out and it was room temperature, skip this step and then just go to the next one. But because this was so cold, that's why I'm cooking this first. I've got some those those peppers. What we're going to do is we're going to get those and we're going to break them up. We're going to put it inside here. Our onion. Garlic. And I've got the heat jacked up on this really high. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. A little bit of soy sauce at this point little black pepper. I'm going to throw in some peanuts. Ain't much Kung Pao chicken without peanuts. I'm going to give this a minute or so to cook up and then we can throw our chicken back in. Alright, at this point we're going to throw the rest of the chicken in. Give everything a good mix. I'm going to add a little bit more oyster sauce. A little bit more red chili flake. Powdered garlic. From there, we can go ahead and um, I just need a little piece. So, if this ends up working for us, then we can take this out and then start doing our fried rice. Okay, time to start making our fried rice. So, I've got the temperature on this pretty high. I've got some eggs out already. Um, now, what I had done with my rice is I had cooked my rice just like you ordinarily would cook it. But what I had done is I had substituted um, a cup and a half of the water that you usually use with a cup and a half of uh, chicken broth, okay? When you're cooking rice, follow the instructions that's on the bag, but generally all you do is you clean off the extra starch, okay? And off the rice, and then however much rice you put in, um, you put one and a half times that, uh, when it comes to the amount of water. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more. So we got our oil inside there, swished it around so it coats everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our eggs inside here. And for the size, and for the amount of uh, fried rice I'm making, I'm going to use three eggs. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there for the eggs. Put a little bit of pepper in there for the eggs. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to end up moving this back and forth to cook the eggs. As soon as these guys are cooked, like they are here, we can take them out and go to the next step. Or you can leave them in, but they usually break down 
a little bit more than you would like them to if you don't take them out. This is our onions, aka scallions, aka call them whatever the hell you want, they're yours. Garlic for the amount of rice that we're making is probably good. And what I want to do is I want to just take a little bit of the rawness out of these uh, onions and garlic. I don't want to burn them. I just want to take a little bit of the rawness out, get a, extract a little bit of the flavor out of that. Some peas and carrots. And while that's going, I'm adding a little bit of butter to this. Some people will add just a little bit. Not me. I'm a butter man. Now we haven't seasoned the peas and carrots yet. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper on there and that's it. I'm not going to do much more. We'll uh, end up adding a little bit of salt later down the line. Throw the rice inside there. What we want to do is we want to break it up. A lot of times using day old rice is best, but this is this I cooked earlier today. During the time that that is uh, frying up a little bit, we can throw our egg back in. Sesame oil. Add a little bit more onion powder to that. I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce. That's also going to give us a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, don't need too much. A little black pepper. Fried rice is done. And there you go guys, Kung Pao Chicken. Now, I know it's not the greatest presentation, but this I had made for uh, some of my co-workers. Okay? And so... That's why it looks the way it does. Hey, it's Chinese takeout, right? And I'm able to feed uh, four adults for probably around $12. But anyway, guys, that is that. And until next time, talk to you later.